Packing up to leave Fort Wilderness. One last walk around. Always checking windows are tight. Uh, Fort Wilderness has been fun. Saying goodbye to Disney. Now on to Caribou RV Park. Last minute decision. Our stop to Caribou Beach RV Resort on Florida's Forgotten Coast was not planned at all. Hurricane Barry was due to make landfall the next day, so we decided our plans to stay in Gulf Shores, Alabama may not end up being much fun. So we called Caribou Beach RV Resort and they had some availability, so we took it. When we arrived, we were not disappointed. This park has pretty good amenities, including a pool, full hookups, concrete pads, and is right across the street from a nice beach on St. George Sound. The sites are pretty close together, which is common for this type of RV park, but the layout was very nice, and we were surrounded by pretty well taken care of mulch and landscaping. Once we got set up, we thought we'd take a walk out to the beach. So we made it. Where are we? Do you know? Do I know? Carabelle Beach. Yeah. Carabelle Beach RV Resort on a last minute change. Beautiful hurricane stuff. Good luck. Oh, oh, oh. We didn't do much swimming at the beach though. The water was pretty churned up from the hurricane in the Gulf, and most of the time we were there, they had the double red flag up, which means no swimming due to the currents. But that did mean we couldn't still enjoy the beautiful sandy beach. Beautiful white sand. There's the RV resort. One of the reasons we chose this resort was because they have a pool. Our kids love to swim and we knew the beaches wouldn't be as nice as usual because of the hurricane. It's cloudy. It ended up being the kids' favorite thing to do here. I mean her floating. Somehow this little girl's a good floater. It has now been six minutes and she hasn't <laughs> moved. We're not quite sure how she's so good at floating. <laughs> Parents sitting in the shade. All right, it's been 10 minutes. She started over here, floated over there, floated out there. And here's the view of, from the pool. We got the bay right there. And then Dog Island is out on the edge. Bathhouse, restroom, showers. The Carabell bathhouse is not horrible. They have three shower stalls with a curtain and then the clear curtain. So my kids aren't fans of that. It's air conditioned, but the problem is bad plumbing, broken urinal. So these two are extra dirty from kids coming in and out from the pool. And it could be a little cleaner. But I blame that more on unsupervised kids than bad cleaning. Little playground area. 
And they tend to put the bigger rigs on this side, fifth wheels, motor coach. Sorry, I could either because I'm making a picture. We didn't always have beautiful weather though, so we tried to use those bad weather days to get caught up on some laundry. Yeah, folding table, and then what they call the clubhouse, place to sit out here. And then off in the distance, that sky is dark from the hurricane. Carabelle is a small little fishing and boating town with not a lot to do in the surrounding areas. There's even only one grocery store within 40 miles, and that's the quaint little Carabelle IGA. Going shopping in the only place in all of Carabelle? IGA. A little different pace in this store, would you say? <laughs> it is only about a 25 minute drive to the popular St. George Island, though. That's a long bridge, Michaela. You'll get a much more touristy feel with rental properties and golf cars driving around, and a pretty cool lighthouse with a small museum. Not to mention some beautiful beaches. But of course when we were there the waters were pretty rough due to Hurricane Barry being so close by. Double red flag means no getting in the water. So in the end, staying here worked out really well. We enjoyed having some good views from our site, at least until a huge Class A moved in next to us. And we enjoyed being able to walk to a beach whenever we wanted. And there's actually quite a bit of history in the area. World War II D-Day training site. the restrooms at the Carabell Beach Public Beach. And I say the public beach because it's the only one. <laughs> Double red flag because of the hurricane. It means do not swim. But the water is not bad here because it's actually a bay sound. So is Carabelle fun? Have a nice pool. And we're waiting for the big classes to leave. So would we come back someday? Definitely. But it may be more of a passing through type of stay as opposed to a destination I'd go out of my way for. But the park was nice and it was a great last minute addition to our plans. If you enjoyed this episode, and if nothing else, learn that you don't always need reservations in order to have a good time, hit that like button and feel free to comment down below if you'd like to share your experience with any last minute change in your plans. Make sure you subscribe if you aren't already, and we will see you next time.